Today I'm gonna get ready using some makeup techniques and strategies that are really out of my comfort zone and I've never tried before, most of them. And so you're gonna come along with me as I try some pretty popular trends and tips and tricks. Hopefully it all comes out in the end. Tell me in the comments what makeup trends really kind of make you uncomfortable. Uh, so not everything is going to be like a new to me trend. I am going to do some things that I normally do. And today I am going to start out with some color corrector. I don't do that every day because I don't need to do it every day. And sometimes I feel like it helps and some days it doesn't. But last night... I woke up in the middle of the night and it took me about an hour and a half to two hours to go back to sleep and I'm feeling, I'm feeling that. Today I was using the even better um, all over primer and color corrector from Clinique. I really like the wand on this. It's kind of like that rare beauty. It's kind of like that rare beauty um, concealer brush and other concealer brushes where it kind of mimics your finger and so I like the placement of that it's, it's a pretty good concealer color corrector so the next thing that I'm gonna do is something that is different for me I don't I have done this before but I don't do it a lot and that is I'm going to use this pretty popular concealer from Natasha Denona as my foundation Wow, and I love this so much as a concealer. And I've heard some of my other favorite YouTubers such as Lauren May Beauty like to use this as their actual foundation. The thing that really made me want to do this video in part was that I am on a no buy for the next several months. I'm not wanting to buy any more makeup for myself or anything like that because I just did a really big birthday haul earlier in July and I will I will link that for you so if you like to watch birthday hauls you can check that out and leave me a comment to let me know what you think about some of the products that I got for my birthday um anyway so usually when I do that for my birthday I get like uh buyer's fatigue I'm just tired of bringing in new stuff and I need to take a pause and not so much for financial reasons, but mostly just so that I'm enjoying the things that I, I have just brought in. It's really the main motivating factor behind my no buy. To give me time to enjoy some of the things I have and to use up some things maybe even. Okay, so here is where we are at on that as a uh, that concealer as a foundation. I am gonna put a little bit on my eyes and even like right here because um, another main motivating factor for this video and this topic was the eyeshadow look that I'm going to do. I'm adding a little bit more because I'm actually while I like this as a concealer under my eyes for the most I'm. Um, I'm not liking the way that it's looking on my skin and it didn't like um, spread out like I was hoping. So, you know, this is the first time that I'm doing something like this in general with the foundation, uh, concealer as a foundation. So there's definitely going to be some user error involved in a lot of the things that may go on today. <laughs> Okay, I was able to kind of get that looking better. I'm gonna try to bring you in. If I use my phone as my recording device, as you can kind of see, um, it looks really kind of like draw, uh, really cakey, and it's emphasizing my texture right here. And <clears throat> it actually didn't do a very good job under my eyes today. So I think what I might do is okay weird for me is I don't actually ever wet my sponges because I forget so I think I might go wet the sponge and kind of pat it over to see if I can pick up any more excess foundation and then we'll report back okay I think the wet sponge really helped let's take a look at what things look like right now 
I think it's less cakey and the texture and like my pores and stuff were still here, but you know what? We all have pores, so it's just gonna have to be what it is. Next thing that I wanted to try that is just different than what I normally do and like how I do it is I wanted to try the eyebrow strategy where you sort of like shape your eyebrows with the pencil, like the outline of them, and then kind of fill them in. So let's zoom you back in so you can kind of see how this goes. This is my better eyebrow. The other eyebrow, we'll talk about it in a minute. I think that that turned out okay. Not too bad. So the problem with this eyebrow is that it, um, it appears to be uh, thinner than the other one as far as like right here. The problem is, is I have hairs right here, but they're white now. Uh, so I tweeze them out because they're white and there's just no point in there being a white hair there. If you are someone who is at the stage of life where your eyebrows are turning white, let me know how you combat that. Is there like an at-home brow dyeing kit that I can buy? that will kind of help with that. I'm gonna put this Rare Beauty Brow Gel in. Ooh, whoa, big goop. That's what I get for not using my own mirror and using the camera as my mirror. Hopefully in the end, everything comes together Okay, I'm gonna just do a little bit of bronzer. I really like this bronzer from Ulta. It's the Oh My Glow Cream Bronzer in the shade Tiramisu. Because the thing that I like the best about it is it has a little bit of redness to it, which especially on my forehead actually looks like what I would look like if I was in the sun. We're gonna try something that's really, really out of my comfort zone. I'm a little scared, but luckily it's just blush. And we're gonna try this boyfriend's blush trend where instead of putting your blush here, it kind of goes more like here. That's what we're gonna try today. We're gonna see how it goes. I really hope this is okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put like three dots right there. And I'm using uh, this orange blush from Rare Beauty. It is the uh, shade Peace. Okay, the camera is kind of washing that color out a little bit. So let's try, let's try a little bit more. I kind of feel like it's when you're like sitting here with your hand on your face a lot <laughs> and you have like your, um, you know, your face is kind of red from the hand marks. That's kind of how I equate this. And I don't really actually know if I'm doing this right because I haven't seen how people do it. I've just kind of seen exactly the different, like where they're putting it. Oh, it's a lot darker on this side than it is on this side, at least in the camera. We're gonna make it work. We are going to make it work. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I mean, I knew I wasn't gonna be sure. As with all kind of like trends and things that are different from your normal routine, you have to kind of like trial and error, error that. So boyfriend much maybe now we're going to also try something that for me is not like a normal routine I have done stuff like this before it's not all completely new to me 
and that is this idea that blush I mean eyeshadow is dead and old people wear eyeshadow and I mean I love eyeshadow I have a ton of eyeshadow palettes but I want to kind of embrace this this trend of our shadow is dead and try to use the minimum amount of eyeshadow that I can today so what I'm going to do is take my Norvina palette and I'm gonna take um, this uh, like cream color but also this brown called incense and I really kind of want to like swirl them together because I don't want actual color per se just something to kind of combat the blueness in my like the blue veins that I have in my um, on my eyelids and I think that that's exactly what what I was looking for I don't I didn't want anything crazy because we're trying to not have eyeshadow on but what we are gonna do with the eyeshadow and my next tip instead of tape I'm going to use a post-it note to help make a liner so and I'm terrible at wing liner so if this tip if this trick works that'd be pretty cool and Norvina I'm actually going to use the shade passion which I think will be great for like a no makeup um, or no eyeshadow kind of look Just a little bit of eyeliner to give me a chance to use the eyeshadow, but not like in an eyeshadowy way. All right, let's see how it did. Okay, hey, I don't like that. I don't mind that. I don't think anyway. All right, here we go. We're gonna try this eye. I think I'm happy with how that how that went that's fine now so that's just a little like I look without using the eyeshadow cuz I don't want to be old do you want to be old no we don't want to be old the next thing that we're gonna do that's kind of out of my comfort zone after I curl my eyelashes I'm going to try to create like a cat eye mascara thing where people like where people only put mascara on like the back half of your eyelashes and we'll see how that looks that's going to be so hard to like resist the temptation to go to go um, in a little bit and I don't know I might do a little on the bottom too the last thing I'm going to do is use a lippy that's not a color that I would normally gravitate towards. I did just get this in my birthday haul and I'm just not crazy about the color or the formula. It's a, it's a matte, matte formula and I just don't know. I, I don't know if I like the way that it looks. And I don't know if I like the color. It looks very, um, to me, um, mm, yeah, I just don't know. We're just going to continue to use it a couple more times and then we'll declutter it to somebody else. Okay, let's go in and see the final look. Okay, so overall, the boyfriend blush being right here is different for me. The no eyeshadow, I'm totally fine with that. I think that looks good. And the um, mascara right here, I do like that. And it complements the wing I was able to create using the post-it note. So um, my brows did get a little too much brow gel in it. and But that was me because I was looking at the phone instead of looking at the product. All in all, that's my look. Gotta go run a couple of errands. And thanks for coming with me. If you like project panning and beauty content, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you later. Bye.